birthday. It's my birthday. Hey, hey, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me, to me, to me. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah. tuning in to my channel this is like my first official upload um, this first segment I'm gonna do a little bit of a and a just because with this channel I want you guys to get to know more about me my journey just everything about me before I've gotten into acting so and then also through my acting experience that way you guys know about me know about my channel what you know my content is gonna be about um, I just want to let you guys into this world. But before we get into that, I want you guys to guess how old do you think I am? Am I 20? Am I 16? Am I 13? Am I 30? Am I 35? So put in the comment section below how old do you think I am. And at the end of the video, I'll give you the grand reveal of how old I am. So I have seven questions that I'm going to answer. Um, and Alex, my boo, he came up with them. So I don't know what the questions are yet. I'm just going to get a bowl and answer them on the spot. So it, could, it should be interesting. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, the first question, let's see. What did it feel like when you decided to become an actor? How did that process play out? When I first decided to become an actor, I was terrified. Like I had no idea, you know, what I was getting myself into. I felt, you know, underqualified. I was just like, I. I'm just, I don't even know the first steps. So, you know, instead of like just throwing it up and being like, I don't want to do this, you know, it's too daunting. I like got in and started doing research, started taking classes. It was, it became like a journey for me of like, I, I want I think this would be something that I would really love to do and I'm not going to shy away from it. So at first I was terrified, but as I started learning and getting more information about how to get on camera, how to, you know, work on commercials and scripts, it just became this thing that was like, I gotta do this. Like, the more I got on set, the more I was doing it, I was just like, man, this is something, like, I know I want to do. So, it went from being afraid, terrified, to, like, excitement, and then it was almost became, like, a challenge. It was like, okay, here we go. Like, what do I need to next? Like, what do I need to get next? What do I need to conquer? What do I need to learn to become, you know, a stronger actor? So, that's, that's kind of how it was for me. And now I'm just like, I'm having fun. Like, this is, looks like, so exciting. It's a new journey. I'm just learning so much. Um, and yeah, that's how the process played out. I was definitely a go-getter, you know, I wasn't, I was not going to let, you know, people saying no stop me from doing what I wanted to do. So, yeah. All right. Second question. What character has been the most fun for you to play? What kind of roles do you hope to play in the future? Ah. Uh, <laughs> As I was reading that question, the first one came to mind uh, was the short film that I did called Chad is Dead, and I was I was playing the role of Kate. And <laughs> what's crazy about this one is that I walk in on my, my boyfriend, so I'm, I technically have the day off and I'm surprising him with chocolate and whipped cream, and I walk into his apartment only to find him in the bed with another woman. <gasps> and so from there, like... It was just such a roller coaster ride. Where I was just like, oh my gosh, like I'm happy to see you. I can't believe you did this to me. And then I end up hitting him with a golf club and I knock him out. And so I don't want to get into the story of it, but it was just cool how I was just like, I got my friends to help me, like hide the body. It was just, there was just so much up and down with that one. So that was probably my favorite playing Kate and Chad is Dead. And what kind of roles do I hope to play in the future? Man, what kind of roles do I want to play in the future? I don't know. I feel like a lot of the movies that we've seen so far have been very like um, white male dominated, like superhero, like they conquer the world. They're able to tackle everything, every obstacle that comes their way. They're able to, you know, find a way to get through it. Um, so I would love to see more females in that role. I would love to see more, you know, color people in this role. You know, I would love to see those roles where you know I can I when I think of you know a protagonist I think of a strong black woman you know but I think that's we we live in a day and age where like when you think of that more times than not and I'm guilty of it of seeing you know a white male but we want I want to start paving a way where you see you know Lupita you see 
You know, I mean, I feel like Black Panther was so like monumental because it, it showed little black girls, little black boys that I can be a superhero. You know, that I can actually, you know, be on that on TV or I, I can actually be an influence. I can be a superhero in other people's lives. So for me, like those are the roles I want to play. The ones that are groundbreaking that, you know, you're not seeing the, you know, you're not seeing colored people. You're not seeing queer people. You're not seeing, you know, um, just just people of the different ethnicities, you know, in those roles. Like I want to, that's the roles I want to play. I want to break those barriers. Absolutely. All right. Third question. How do you continue to believe in yourself in an industry that is so competitive? What are the internal and external forces that keep you moving forward? Honestly, when it comes to this industry, I know it's competitive and there's so many people that are trying to be actors and actresses as well. But for me, I just almost just focus on what I can control, almost like tunnel vision. Just like, okay, I'm not, I may not be experienced with this person, but what are they doing that I need to do to become a better actor? You know, I'm looking at other people and finding ways to grow in that avenue and not just you know, seeing it as competitive, you know, like, you know, I need to fight these people, I need to, it's almost like a collaboration. So when you're looking at other people, you're inspired. And for me, like, I was just like, how can I get on a level? How can I be, you know, the next Viola Davis or the Taraji P. Hensons of the world? Like, what what did they do that I can implement? So for me, it's competitive, yeah. I mean, I've, com I've competed in sports my whole life and I get that, I, I get the competitiveness, but I can only do what I can. I can't be the best overnight, so I'm focusing on me. So, yeah, and then uh, what are my internal and external forces? Uh, internally, I just, I don't know, I just, I just feel like I have this resilience, you know, this determination that, like, no matter what, like, I'm going to create my own stuff. I'm going to, you know, stretch myself. I'm going to put myself in these uncomfortable positions, you know, so almost having, like, that attitude that, yeah, there's a lot of opposition, but, I mean... Who whoever achieved anything without you know obstacles or opposition you know so um, for me like it was just like I, I really I just have this resilient mentality and like I find the people who are gonna be that resilient with me and we go together you know so that's how I feel about it and then external kind of tying with what I just said find the people in your life that you know see your goals and see you and are saying yeah I'm gonna support you what can I do to help or hey like I want to do this too. What have you learned? So it's like we're, we're almost like working together. So externally, like just friends, you know, I'm so grateful to have such a supportive team of people around me. Um, my mom, you know, definitely um, has been so encouraging. And um, most of all, my husband, Alex, I can't tell you like the sacrifices and everything that we've done to get to Los Angeles and the commitment um, that, you know, he's shown to like loving me and seeing the stuff that I want to um, pursue in life and not saying, oh, you know, like we can't do that, but finding a way to say like, hey, let's try to make this work because I know it makes you happy. So, I mean, by all means, I'm so grateful to have Alex in my life for that. Aww. Yeah, next question. <laughs> Name one or two actors who inspire you the most. Which of their performances spoke to you in particular? Um, I love Viola Davis. She's just such a stud. She's a rock star. Like, every role that she's been in, I've just been so, like, inspired by her. Because she's just, she's just a wonderful, wonderful actress. And I also love Taraji B. Henson. Just love her so much. She's just a phenomenal actress. And just, just like, both of their journeys. Just from, you know, where they started and then staying committed to this journey throughout you know, throughout their careers and never giving up, you know, just, you know, staying strong in it. I love that. Um, and I think the the performance that stuck out to me the most is in Hidden Figures, Taraji P. Henson. Uh, there was a scene where she officially broke down because of the discrimination that she was experiencing, that she couldn't even go to the same restroom as her uh, white counterparts. And so there was a scene in there where she was just like, she, she broke. And you could see the pain and the angst in her voice. And... And, you know, and on her face, and I, I, I literally cried in that part because you could feel the pain. It was something that I could relate to. So, um, just in terms of just like that experience of being discriminated against. So, yeah, that was. I think that was probably the most moving experience. Next question. Okay, if you could go back in time and be in any movie that has ever been made, which one would you choose, and what would be your role? Um. Okay. So like. 
that's a tough one because there's two that pop in mind that I just love. I love, ugh, it's hard. Okay, so I love the movie Inception and I would probably be, um, who what was her name? I would probably be the architect in that movie, the one that's helping Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm blanking on her name right now, but I would love to be the architect, the one that's like designing the structure and like, understanding the layout. I, I don't know, I, I just love the, this movie and it's a really cool concept. Uh, so I'll either do that one or I will of course be in Spider-Man with uh, the original Tobey Maguire Spider-Man because I'm a diehard Spider-Man, a OG fan. Um, so of course I would be Mary, you know, I would love to be, you know, the love interest. I don't know, like I said, you know, breaking barriers. So I would love to be Mary for sure um in that one so yeah those are probably the two movies for sure <laughs> um what is it like being on set what are the best and worst parts of that experience um so i've been on set for you know just different um tv shows and just being like short films so there's a lot um in terms of being background i really like I think the fun part about that is you get to meet people, you get to connect, you get to like network and kind of see their journey. So it really is a, you know, an experience where you're just, you're getting to know a lot of people also getting to see like the behind the scenes, how everything's coming together. Um, and so, so that's kind of background work, but in terms of like just me, like if I was in a lead role or the lead roles that I've been in, I don't know, it's really cool being able to work with the director and just kind of getting the idea or the image that they want for, you know, this specific scene and then also like bringing your creativity to it. So I think that's, you know, awesome just being able to, you know, have like a vision that you want, but also working alongside the director and then also your co-stars. I think it's, it's, it's a wonderful experience to work with other people. Um, and I think on the end of that, what, what are the worst parts of that experience? Um, the worst parts, um, <laughs> when it comes to background, the worst part is like finding food on set, you know, when it's like not a vegan friendly environment. Cause you know, I'm vegan and I just love, I love to snack and I love to eat food. So when I'm on set and I can't find anything, I'm just like, oh, you know, I've, thankfully, thankfully I packed my lunch or, you know, I had some snack myself. So that's probably the worst part. Um, just finding food, you know, on set as a vegan. So yeah. And then a last question. <sighs> what is your favorite movie and why? TV show genre. Um, my favorite movie and why TV show. That's a, that's a tough one because I've watched a lot lately that I've just been like, that have been so good. Um, my favorite though, hmm, favorite movie and why. Well, I already in indicated that I love Spider-Man and Inception. So those are definitely... Um, my top movies just because I think Spider-Man is more nostalgia it's something I grew up with and I just remember that was just like wow I love Spider-Man like it's my favorite you know superhero and it was just so that's more nostalgia um, and Inception I just love the concept of that um, just how you know going within a dream within a dream within a dream just like the mind and the structure of that um, uh, genre though I definitely would say um, I, know, I love drama. I just love being pulled in. I mean, I, we've definitely watched a lot of comedy shows recently. <laughs> uh, Alex, he loves comedy, so we'll watch like Parks and Rec and The Office, and you know, that's that's very entertaining, but I feel like I love, like we just recently watched Breaking Bad, and I'm just telling you, ooh, like I was so upset, I was angry, I was happy, like there's my, my emotions, I feel like a drama just always just has me up and down, so I love that about it. Um, and then TV show, TV show, TV show. What is my favorite TV show? That's a tough one. Um, what's going on? Nothing's like, nothing like is drawing out like as I'm thinking about it, but. Say it again. I would say it's my favorite. House of Cards is a really good, really good TV show. Um, my favorite TV show, oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, for now, I'm just gonna go with Breaking Bad just because like that really did pull me in. And I just, I don't know, it, it was a wonderful journey. Like, I was upset at Walter White the whole way through because he was being so selfish and so self-absorbed. 
Um, and I felt so bad for Jesse. Anyways, you should watch that one if you haven't, but Breaking Bad is definitely a good one. So, all right, well, that's all the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel or watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please hit the like button and then subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm gonna be doing more videos. I'm definitely gonna keep doing a lot of Q and A's. So if you have any questions, uh, definitely uh, send me those questions on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram, I'll put that in the link below. Um, so I'm gonna definitely keep doing Q&A's, but I also want to get more into me making content. So I want to do short films. I want to make a web series. I want to do, you know, maybe do some, you know, interviews with other people that may want to call my channel. So just stay tuned for that. I'm going to plan on posting like once a week. That's the goal. And then I'll start doing more depending on, you know, the content. So yeah, so that's, um, that's, that's my, my segment for today. Oh, and like, I had to answer the question, how old am I today? Oh, I Twenty-five today, so the big two five, you know, the quarter. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited about this journey. I know some people are like, oh, like you're getting older, you know. It's just like oh, it's only down from here. But for me, like I feel like it's only up. You know, I feel great. I'm doing what I love, and so I'm so glad that you guys are joining me on this journey. So, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and turn the little notification bell on so you can see my posts again. All right, bye for now.